you. Today we're in downtown Denver on 16th Street Mall talking to people about slavery reparations and if people deserve them. Let's do it. So a lot of people have been talking about uh, reparations for slavery in uh -huh. the news. Have you heard about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, we're past due. We've been past due. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah. Why do you think so? I have no idea. think that gay people should get reparations? Yes. Why do you say that? I think everybody deserves equal rights. Black, white, orange, Asian, everybody had a struggle in, in their race. Not, it's not a black and white thing, it's a, it's a human thing. So if you feel like you need to go get something, go for it. Who would you want to pay for the slavery reparations? Like I was saying earlier, there, there is no payment that can be done. But if there was somebody to be taking that fault, be the government we all reside under. Like the taxpayers? No, 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 we are taxpayers, yeah. the tax makers. You know what I'm saying? The people who, who instilled the taxes into America. A uh, House panel explored whether financial reparations are in order to atone for America's history of slavery. So I, I, I want to ask this question, you know, are reparations a good answer? Do people know enough about American history? No. To understand why? It's not just the slavery aspect, but... Yesterday, um, Mitch McConnell got asked this question, and he said, you know, electing Barack Obama is reparations. <laughs> Barack Obama is not even a descendant of slaves. His daddy was an intellectual, a, you know, exchange student from Kenya. You think he voted... <laughs> How do you calculate 200 years plus of brutality and murder uh, and violence uh, and the destruction of family, and the lack of transfer of wealth. How do you calculate that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, sit, sit, Buck. sit. Welcome to another Thursday's thought. I do pray everyone's doing well. Let me just give this to you, everybody. Go ahead, go ahead. Here, take. How about you sit here like a cute little guy? And, um, once again, welcome to Thursday's thought. Pray everyone's doing well. Um, today might be, this is my warning, today's episode, I don't know, um, hopefully it doesn't step on any toes, it's honestly out of love and just, it's a Thursday thought, it's just a thought, something I want you to think about, um, so don't get mad at me, if you do, hey, hey nothing I can do about it. But um, it's a little touchy subject, probably, with a lot of the different things going on in this world. Um, and just, uh, was it yesterday, I believe it was, I heard on the radio and they were talking about the different laws and things that are going to be coming before our government. And one of them, they were talking about, um, of course, with... Everything that had taken place in the last year with all of the uh, all the systemic racism they talked about and all of the the different things that were going on, um, they were talking about. Give me one second. I'm trying to find what I did with it. Oh yes, uh, reparation and how. We need to pay for the sins of our past, pretty much, um, when it comes down to. And not even really pay for the sins of our past, pay for the sins of others' past. Because, I don't think, I mean, there may be some people who were still around um, during those days of slavery and the, the very, I mean, there's racism still today. I'm not saying there isn't. But there's also racism on every side. Um, we're not going to get into all that, but there is. I've been judged uh, for being white. All of a sudden, because I'm white, I'm considered... I, I was pushed by somebody who said, because I voted for this person, I am a racist. And um, I am automatically classified as a racist and as a privileged white male American, white American male, um, I was thinking about that, and in my life, I was like, I really haven't been privileged, but then again, I was thinking I have been, 
I was privileged enough to have my father and mother. Not always a perfect marriage, but they um, they stayed together. And also, they sacrificed to do more than what many others would do. Um, and I was privileged, but not because I was white, white male, American white male, but because of the sacrifice of my father and mother and the grace of God as well. Um, but let me read the definition of reparation. The making of amends for a wrong one has done by repaying money or otherwise helping those who have been wrong. Like I said, there's still wrong going on, but a lot of those who have really been wrong, the ones that were in the, the civil rights movement and everything that was going on in the slavery, I believe most, if not all of them, have passed on to eternity. Um, so to repay them for something that I didn't do, for something that maybe my ancestors or somebody else did that was like, I consider myself pigmently challenged. Um, first off, I can't repay those who have been wronged. Second off, I don't know how I can repay for something I didn't do. Um, but if we really look at it, we can't repay the, the wrong that was done against our, our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as well. The way that the King of Kings was treated and put to death because of our sins, the sins of our um, ancestors. And the great thing about that, whether you believe we should give money to the current generations that haven't, they really didn't deal with the wrong that had preceded them um, as much. Like I said, it's still, there's still wrong being done, but like I said, it's on all sides. Um, but the great thing about, about Christ is he doesn't ask us to repay for the wrong we've done. We need to learn and try to do better. Definitely, no doubt. I believe that with all my heart. The same thing with uh, the, the country and all the things that we still need to we still need to make right. But making right isn't just paying a ticket. It is changing things and becoming better. The same thing with our salvation. By Jesus Christ's blood, we are redeemed, and our debt has been paid. We can't repay that, the debt that was paid for us, but what we can do is become better and try to learn from our past like we need to do with this. So what I challenge you to do is with whatever way you um, look at, at this subject, I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about Have you learned from what you've done that breaks our Lord and Savior's heart? Are you becoming better or are you just saying, ah, you know, it was done, can't do nothing about it? You can't repay them, though. But what you can do is learn from the past, like what we should do as a society and as a country and a world. We can't repay because they're gone. But we can learn and be better. Same thing with our, our faith in Christ. We cannot repay for the sins that have been done. But we can become better. And it, the only thing we can repay it with is a life sold out to Christ. And all he wants us to do is be better and share his truth and love with others through the life we live and also 
the words we speak when given the opportunity. So I just want to read a couple scriptures, and then i got to get ready to uh, take this little buddy out for a walk before I go to work. But I challenge you to realize we can't undo the past. We can't even repay for what has been done to those who aren't even here anymore. But those who are here, we can become better. And same thing with the rest of your life. You cannot relive yesterday. The past mistakes, the heartaches, everything you've been through, all you can do is go forward. Forgetting what is behind you, press on. Even though perfection is unobtainable, we should strive for it. So let me just read a couple of scriptures. This little guy, I don't know what he's doing. But Matthew 5:23 through 24. So if you are offering your gift at the altar and remember that you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift mm, sorry. Leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Once again, he repaid it for us. And all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I believe that's Romans 3.23, I think. Um, 1 Peter 1-5 through 5. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants long for pure spiritual milk, that they may, that by it they may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good, as you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves, like a living stones, are being built as a, as a spiritual house, to be a royal priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Once again, it's not by our works, but it's through Jesus Christ, and to put away our past sins and become better. <clears throat> Two more for you, I believe. Um, do, 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 Deuteronomy 24, 16. Fathers shall not be put to death because of their, because of their children, nor shall the children be put to death because of their fathers. Each shall be put to death for his own sin. Once again, we can't do anything about the past, especially if it wasn't even what we did. But um, we can learn from our past. Six, I'm sorry, Matthew 6, 14. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. And then Hebrews 8, 12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. The same way God will remember our sins no more, um, hopefully we can get to the point where we're not remembering the sins of others, or even those who aren't even here anymore. Can we become better? Yes. Should we learn from the past? Yes. Hopefully this, this doesn't... Um, really get anybody angry at me, just my thought, like I said, you know, I may be viewed a certain way for presenting this because I just so happen to be a pigmently challenged American male. Um, however, the privilege that I've actually been passed over employment opportunities because of being a white American male because they had to have, you know, a certain number of certain different races and things like that. So I haven't always, like I said, my, my privilege was given to me by God, but then also the sacrifice of my parents and hard work. But love you guys. I pray that you can understand what I'm trying to bring forward to you. Nothing really about that, but it's just changing. You cannot repay for the sins you've done, but you can change and be better for our Heavenly Father and for those around you. 
So, I love you guys. Let me see. He's probably not going to come to me because he's all about that bone. Hey, come here, buddy. You're so good. Look at you with the bone. No, come here. Come here. Up. Puck. Puck. I'm not going to take it here. Say goodbye. Well, we love you. Keep us in your prayers. We'll keep you all ours. And we'll see you again next week on another Thursday's Thought.